just like you always do. Dame Vera Lynn, who obviously needs no introduction whatsoever from us. Lovely to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to see you again. Too. That, I, oh, I wasn't even born during the war, but whenever I hear that song and you singing mm. it precisely, I still get a catch in my throat. Mm. It meant so much to mm. so many people. Mm. Do, do you listen to it with any emotion at all? Well, I suppose I've sung it for so many years <laughs> now, and so often it. that it, it's just got <clears throat> part of me that, uh, yeah. you know... I, do you ever it, think, when will we meet again? I've been singing this for <laughs> 50 years now. Well, it, well no, you see, the only time I suppose I think anything about it is yeah. when uh, I, my thoughts do go back to when I originally sang it. Mm. Mm. And then some of the chaps come up and say, oh, I remember when, you know, and we are meeting again. And I think, well, there's some of the boys that came mm. back to be able to say that. And when, when was the first time you actually sang that song? Uh, well, actually, right at the beginning of the war. Mm. But it really got popular when I started my programmes in 1941, The Sincerely Yours, mm. and mm. I used it as the signing off tune, yeah. All, all careers in show business have that point early on, don't they, where the person who's going to be a success realises that it's happening. It, you know, it's maybe a phone call from the agent, it may be something in the newspaper mm. or, or something mm. like that, or a person coming up for an autograph. When did you realise that you had become or were becoming an institution, that it was happening, that, that you were not well, just another singer? Well, actually, I really wasn't aware of the extent of, of what the songs and myself probably mm. meant uh, at that period until after the war. Really? Really? No, because, I mean, we were so busy coping with the blitz and entertaining and everything mm. like that and actually doing the programmes all right, you got a lot of letters every week, which one answered all around the world to the boys. But until you start, I started travelling after the war to concerts, mm. and I realised that they'd been listening to the programme all over the continent, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, mm. and mm. everywhere. And, uh, and, of course, all the Canadian boys and the Australian chaps that were over here, mm. or wherever they were, were listening to the programme. Mm. Mm. And then I got <coughs> the feedback then, but I certainly didn't realise at the time. Do you, how, what do you feel? Uh, there's obviously going to be a huge um, number of uh, anniversary celebrations coming <laughs> yeah. up this year, as we already knew. I mean, like our, uh, our chaps here today who mm. are going to parachute into Arnhem. I know. Um, amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing stuff. Now, you've, you've, you've sort of missed out on that to some extent. You, you are going to um, celebrate the anniversary on a cruise yourself, but yeah. the government's celebrations have come far too late for you to join in. Well, yes. I mean, mm. I was asked to do the, uh, this particular... Uh, Cunard uh, sh shows uh, 18 months ago mm. and they really have only just woke up the last couple of weeks that they should be doing something they they were lined up for the big official things mm. uh, but they hadn't what they say now thought about the common people and so now they're all boring they're getting <laughs> things to a bit together now and there are one or two special but shows it's too late for going, you to get involved. But, uh, on that particular day so I shall be in La Havre Mm. With with the veterans, which I'm happy about. That's mm. all I care. As long as I'm doing yes. something with the boys somewhere, that's all I really. You obviously am worried uh, about. It's 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 come across over the years. It comes across, across now. Your genuine affection for for your fans, you call them the boys. You yes. Know. Um, I'm sorry. I'm covering my microphone. They're not hearing me. Um, I forgot my question. I know what I was going to say. Yes. Um, so. <laughs> do, when did you become aware then, during the war, that you were more than just a pin-up to them? I mean, there, there were lots of stars, and there are lots of, of female stars who are fancied, you know, by, by, right. by their fans. real pin -ups. Yeah, yes. well, you were, well, you were fancied, but also people kind of fell in love with you as well. Yes, in a different way, you see. I, I was the girl they left behind. I was their sweetheart, their, 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 their wife, and I was the link pin between the two of them. Mm. Mm. And I was able to mm. express on my programmes what they would like to have said or thought about. Right, a surrogate, uh, really. Yeah, yes, in, and, in lyric yes. and in in messages and things like that. Mm. But you were never a threat to, to, to the wives and sweethearts, were you? Oh, no, no. The, the, the wives were just as much fans, and they still are, as they were then, mm. because they always mm. come up and say, well, you were my husband's sweetheart, you know. And they don't because, mind. No, no, no. Because it, you were them. I, I wasn't that like the American film star type, no. glamour, uh, a pin-up. It, it was an emotional thing, yes. an inside thing, that mm. they felt uh, between the loved ones that they'd left behind. You became a sort of vessel, really, going, going yes, between the two. Yes, that's right, yes. yes fascinating, mm. fascinating. Yes. 
Listen, you, you're here very kindly because you've agreed to sing for us at the end of the show to celebrate our, uh, our veterans going into, into yeah. Ireland. You're also here because, uh, because of a project which is very close to your own heart, yes. which is a special school. Yes, it is. <laughs> and it's in uh, uh, it's, um, Enfield Manor School, but that we now have a special section, a special school, specially built, the first and only special mm -hmm. uh, school built, and it's a school for parents because it's the parents that you, you train... Parents of children who have cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy, mm -hmm. and they're only up to five years of age in this school, so they're right. babies, and it's terribly important to get them at this very young age, from right. six months anyway. We've got, We've a, got, little, a, got a, a very clip short clip, actually. But just of the children. Look at, see the children in the school here. Oh, look, it's a little man! Oh, what shape is his body? Do you know? Is he round or is he square? Having the repetition of exercise, which yes. is available here, mm. is something which is a big plus. Yes. Um, and working as well with other children um, seems to give them the momentum to do the exercises um, so much better than they would do if they were doing it at home. Wave to the stalk. Hello, children. Hello, children. Are you here? Good, Danny. Film, you can see it working, can't Yes, you? you see, it, when they say it's a school for parents, it's a school because it, it, you are trying to teach the little ones normal things that normal babies do automatically. You know, mm. lift an arm, turn a head, sit, mm. feet on floor, eat, right. any, the things that... Lit, so it is a school, mm. and it's the parents that you have to show what to do when they get back. How do you raise money for it? Through the SOS, which is the STARS organisation, we've been going since 1954, three, four, and uh, we've been involved in this particular project for about seven years. Mm -hmm. And uh, what one of our biggest aims, too, were was to have outreach departments, mm. which we are building up. We are training a lot of the, um, the so-called conductors, because it's the Hungarian method of conductive education. Mm -hmm. That's what it's officially yes. called. And uh, we are now lovely, and I, I've got a li whole list here of, of a lot of the, uh, out, what we call it, outreach. We train mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the, the teachers to send out. There's <coughs> one at Redditch, Plymouth, Sheffield, Cardiff, Winchester, Barnet, Burton-on-Trent, Bradford, Warsaw, Greenwich, Bromley. We have, Big operation. Uh, mm -hmm. It is. We've got 18 at the moment, but we shall soon have 22. Excellent. And this oh. is where a lot of the money goes, not just running that school, but training for all the outreach departments. Well, if anybody watching thinks they can do anything to help, and talking about money and stuff, they can give yes. us a ring on the switchboard, 051 yes, trouble please. 5 1000, if you want to help uh, Dame Vera in that, yeah. in that uh, charity and in, work. In return, you get to hear Dame Vera singing. Yes. <laughs> By the way, as Judy says, we weren't around during the war, but uh, we were around in the 70s, and I thought your TV show on Saturday night was brilliant. Uh, yes, really good show. Uh, well, I like that because I had the opportunity of singing other songs than the old one. <laughs> I know, yes, I we know. We used to do all the modern songs yeah. and well, dancing with the good. young generation. Was it live? Yeah. Yes. It was a good yes. show. Yes. Very good show. Well, right, guess, anyway. guess what we've got you to sing for us later. I'm sorry <laughs> about know. this. I'm sorry about this. Dame Vera will be back to sing for us later. She's singing the hip hop rap. And no prize for <laughs> guess who it is. We know what she's doing. But uh, listen, coming up after the break, we've got Britain's first white voodoo Parents phone. Parents the world's first surrogate triplets and seeing the babies in hospital for the first time on television. And uh, you can talk direct to Rosemary Connolly in the phone in if you want some inspiration to, to diet or to get fit. And uh, Dr. Watson plays a house call. Uh, actor Edward Hardwick's going to be here. But we'll leave you now with the anthem of hope for men like Robin, Bill, Les, Jeff and many, many more. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Dame Vera. Bye. Let's say goodbye with a smile, dear Just for a while, dear We must part don't let this parting upset you I'll not forget you Sweetheart We meet again Don't know when Don't know when Again, some sunny day. Keep smiling through, just like you always do, till the blue skies drive the dark clouds far. I won't be long. They'll be 
to know that as you 